Okay, hi everyone. Can you hear me? My name is Antonia. I'm studying here for my Masters of Commerce in um, Strategic Innovation and Entrepreneurship. And today I'm going to tell you more about an app for the day and our goal to disrupt the online fashion retail industry. Which I know might sound like an ambitious goal, but if you think about the industry for a second, it's actually quite uncustom centric based on two major problems. Um, number one is that I think in today's society we are all lacking one thing, which is time. So who has the time to go and click through the millions of items that online shops have on offer? And also those millions of items often create a complete information overload that leaves customers exhausted and uninspired within five minutes. And so now imagine an online service that suggests you um, customized outfit suggestions to your personal taste like a Pandora for fashion, basically. So that's what an app for the day is. It is an online fashion platform using data analytics and recommendation technology to suggest customized outfits to users across multiple brands. How it works is the user signs up and completes the style quiz, creating a personal style profile. After that, every day he receives a personalized um, daily outfit via email that can be purchased by the button of one click by the click of one button. <laughs> um, after that, all his outfits are stored for about a month, which allows him to log back into his account and scroll through his own personalized new online shop. A further calendar synchronization feature allows the service to pull the keywords such as holiday or wedding, and then allows the service to make suggestions based on upcoming events in the user's life. So, of course, based on the market entry strategy, you want to keep it simple and you want to keep it as low cost as possible. But once the business model is validated and break it even, the sort of bigger vision behind it is um, to also include an app that includes social features. I see um, express delivery, food drone delivery in the future. I see virtual feeding rooms. Basically, the vision is to create a completely new online shopping experience for customers. The business model is the following. So customers don't pay um, anything for the service, completely free of charge. They only pay for the items they actually purchase. The brands on board are the ones creating the outfits that then get entered into the system. And an outfit a day then acts as sort of a middleman that based on recommendation technology, suggests matches the right outfit with the right customer and takes a commission of 20% of every transaction that is made. This means no risk for customers, as the service is completely free of charge. No risk for brands, as it's just an additional sales channel um, with very low risk. And minimized risk for us as an online shop, as there's no need for stock nor distribution management. The business model also um, combines three major trends, which are e-commerce, data, and customization. Our target market are career-focused, ambitious women which mostly have three things in common. They place importance on their exterior appearance, they are time staffed, and they have a high disposable income. The um, online women's clothing sales in Australia is a $1 billion market and is experiencing huge growth. On top of that, our business model also offers huge growth opportunities. As once the technology is implemented, it can quite easily be scaled and expand to women globally, as well as into men's segments. Um, so this is my favorite part. Um, I've uh, launched a little website with a little mock-up sign-up button just recently, and just yesterday launched a little targeted Facebook um, advertising campaign. And only within the last 24 hours, we have actually reached 428 link clicks, um, 44 email sign-ups. So I've updated these slides about lunchtime today, so I've just checked it again before. <laughs> and um, we're now on 521 link clicks and 72 sign-ups to the actual service within only 24 hours. So I'm super excited about that. And within an investment of $40,000, we could, um, and only assuming that we would only get two users a day, making on average one purchase a month of only $100, we would um, reach positive cash flow within seven months and break even within 14. So I'd like to um, encourage all the women in the room today, if you're interested, to jump on the website www.anoutfitaday.com.au and sign up so I can keep you updated as soon as we're ready, ready to launch the project. Thank you very much. Any questions? <laughs>
one of the issues that I, I had and I'd like to know how you're going to, to overcome is getting the brands to put their data into the system because they've already got computer systems with all their fashion accessories and details in it. Let's face it, next, all the rest of them have that already. So how are you going to get that transfer complete outfits into your system? Mm -hmm. True. So the idea would be that, um, exactly, basically the outfits come from them, where really all we would need would be exactly the basic data of prices and the looks. And then it'd be the front end where the customer has all his details safe with us, so you can only um, order things by one click, and launches the actual order with us, and we then for the back end send the order on to the actual um, brand that would do all the rest. So there would be a certain amount of data, which is pricing and outfits, that we would need to have, but a lot of the other data we actually wouldn't, wouldn't really need. Really fascinating. Um, a couple of things. Mm -hmm. So will the brands that sign up, will they devise the, they'll create the outfit. So it will come from one brand. So there won't be commingling of brands for an outfit. That's right. To keep it simple, especially at the beginning, we will keep one outfit per brand. I mean, multiple outfits per brand, but exactly every outfit would be created by one brand. Also, the idea behind it is a bit that um, the brands would be targeting a lot of Australian designers. I think you guys have an amazing um, community here with them, and they sort of tend to like go under a bit, mix all the big retailers. And that'd also be another like point of differentiation, having just a curated selection of local Australian designers. So the idea would also be that every day you sort of get introduced to a new brand that is local from around here. So you have basically the whole look, a little description about the brand as well, what it stands for, what its values are. And um, yeah, the complete app would be to keep it simple and also to have that additional differentiation of introducing customers to different brands. Great. And then the second question I had is, so um, you obviously, people love to look at outfits. They love to look at Meta Porter. They love to look at all these different brands. But how do you actually get the conversion? And have you thought about how much money um, you know, on an out per outfit that you need per month to really start ramping up and to get that you know, customer entrenchment. Mm -hmm. So um, the way we get them to, to they basically do the purchase is by having that daily feed of inspiration and just really just, you know, you send them by like 3 p.m. when you already feel like you've done sort of a day of work and you want to maybe, you know, do something good for yourself. And you see that and if you really like it, if you are, I really believe in believe that if you already have all the information in the back end and all it needs for you to is um, to click one button if you really see something that you like, I think that will be quite a quick conversion. It will be quite powerful with having that recurring stream of um, outfits as well, rather than just you know one-offs or waiting for the customer to come to the online shop. So that's where I see a lot of power. And um, about the financials, so um, my financial model at the moment, which was which I made before I done that little experiment, I based on the assumption of having a two on average getting two users every day, and saying every customer would take would on average make one purchase a month of $100 in value, and we would take 20% commission on that. Um, the outlay, the initial outlay of cost would be quite big to set up the entire website and especially the recommendation engine. But um, if we go with these assumptions, we would reach positive cash flows in seven months and then break even in 14. Yeah, no, I think the traction is, is this on? Yeah, I think the traction is quite positive. That's, that's quite good. Um, but how did that stack up against something like show code? Um, what's, the, what's the difference? Um, I believe it's that whole experience of having like a really curated sort of, it's more, it's, it more has um, an inspiration touch for a lot, so it's not only, only you know, that sort of hard selling and having the same look with, if you often have like an online um, shop that has like that one look and you have that one brand, it's more of like for, you know, busy women who want to look good, but it's a time saver and it's very, um, quite high quality, all the brands as well, so it'd be more of like an inspirational time saving, convenience thing, um, convenience service that um, then with the additional calendar few synchronization as well could really like fit, you know, you have like that wedding of John and Jess coming up in two weeks and you know, so often like especially us girls are like two hours before like, damn, I've got nothing to wear. <laughs> so the idea would be to like, you completely um, get rid of that by actually making the suggestions before. And just a final question, is it take to market partnerships or, I mean, are you guys looking at partnerships or is it just generically just going out there? Uh, sorry, with brands. So in terms of uh, your launch plan, is it are you going to be looking at partnerships with um, you know existing companies, for example? That could be a good idea. Or are you guys just looking to just straight away go to market? 
Um, I think partnerships is definitely an option, especially with with the sort of our target market of you know career women around as well, definitely. And I also believe that um, highly targeted social media will be a very effective measure as well. Thank you very much. What we look for is, in the two prizes that we're handing out, the businesses that we thought we could contribute to and help in the long term. In the Hub, what we could bring to it through the Hatch program, through the sprint sessions, and ultimately through the money, of course, um, but through our support, the two businesses we thought we could help in the longer term to become successes, an outfit for a day. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you.